wish people could strive to be like Andy. Would I have ever tried to build a half pipe like this? No, but he wanted to do it and he did it. I won't take it down. Mark Hovis and my son is uh, Andrew Christopher Hovis. We name, we call him. Everybody called him Andy. He uh, loves skating and, and videoing. And as you can see, that him and his buddies built the uh, half fight that I'm sitting on. As you can tell from the wear on the skate on it from the skateboards, but uh, they'd come out here when, when they didn't have much time, couldn't go somewhere else, they, they would come out here. My wife actually called me at work and said that um, she believed Andy had been involved in an accident. She seen his car on the internet. At that point, we were all devastated. I mean, seeing him come in the door. And I always think what could I have done to prevent it? Because uh, as a father, you know, you should be protecting your family. Andy's room. We haven't done anything with his bed. It's just like it was when he left. His skateboards and his shoes and all are still in here. We haven't really done anything. This is one of his drawings he did when he was in high school. This is his urn. Um, every day I put him up here with his computer. This is where he spent all of his time with his computer. If I come every morning, I put him to bed at night, and every morning before I go to work, I sit him up here with his computer and turn his computer on. I go by the skate park at least once, at least once a week, if not more often. I, I make a special trip up to the skate park. Because uh, Andy always tried to keep it clean, so uh, I, I'm going to do that for him. Uh, go by and, and uh, just make sure that nobody's put a bunch of trash out and, or left bottles and stuff around on the inside. That, inside the skate park. It's a tremendous loss to this whole community. The idea of naming the park in memory of Andy has just turned out to be a blessing for the community. It's uh, allowed us all to review uh, what Andy did during a young life, uh, what he meant to a lot of these guys that are standing right here with us now, skateboarding. Uh, he counseled them. He had his head on straight, and uh, he was looked up to by all of these skaters. And quite frankly, he was looked up to by many of the adults that were participating in the program. We miss him a lot. I didn't realize how many people Andy touched. I'm proud of him. stay here and be sad and gloom. 
all the time. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what lifts us up and keeps us going. We can look forward to meeting up with them again.